Yo, 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 what the deal? It's your boy, X dot, E dot, L dot, O. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. And thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, definitely like, subscribe, hit that bell notification. That'll let you know when I drop another video. If you are here for beats, I have a link below called Beats You Need. Or you can just go directly to my website. It's going to be X-E-L-O-H-H dot com. You can come here for all your beat needs, all your graphic needs, and all your mixing and mastering needs as well. And that's X-E-L-O-H-H dot com. Hey man, welcome back to the channel. Glad you guys came back to see me. Thank you for all the support that I've been getting. Today I'm actually going to be talking about recording vocals inside of Cakewalk by BandLab. So, um, if you've seen my auto-tune video, it shows you how to actually use auto-tune on your voice to actually record yourself. This time I'm just going to be doing some regular recording, showing you some vocal comping, showing you how to set it up, get everything going. Let's go. Alright, so here we are in Cakewalk, and this is my dark theme. If you do want this theme or my light theme, the link will be below in the description. If you don't know how to install themes, I have a video showing you how to install themes as well. But let's get into the video. All right, so we are in the regular uh, empty template. So basically, usually what artists will do is they'll come to you and say, hey, I have this um, this beat that I downloaded from BeatStars or Airbit, wherever they got it from. And it's usually like a two track. And then basically what you want to do is actually add that two track inside of Cakewalk. Cakewalk allows you just to kind of drag and drop. So if you have the WAV file, you can just drag it and drop it in here like so. So I just dragged it from my desktop into Cakewalk and it's just gonna pull up the actual video in here. I'm sorry, the actual audio into Cakewalk. So this is what it is, this is what it looks like. I'm gonna actually play it real quick so you can kind of hear it really quick. So those who are familiar with my channel will know that this is a beat I made on YouTube. Um, I'll probably have it up above the, uh, the link to actually how I made this actual beat. Um, and yeah, let's see if we can get everything set up here. All right. So first thing you want to do is make sure that you turn down the volume of the beat. Um, I know a lot of the people on uh, BeatStars and air bit and stuff like that they actually have the beats really loud so you want to kind of turn it down i usually like to go around negative 6 db and what this does is um it allows the beat to actually still be pretty loud but not to where it's bleeding into the microphone you don't want the bleeding of the beat to be inside the microphone because artists like to have the, the headphones on super loud and blasting to actually do their vocals when you don't need all that so um, that's one of the first things I usually do when I'm actually going to record someone. Um, then I need to find out what the tempo is of the beat. Sometimes they don't have the beat tempo attached. So uh, what you want to do is go up to uh, projects and then go to insert tempo change. Or just hit alt and T, which is my shortcut that I set up. I head up an alt and T shortcut to this tempo change because I always want to get to it as fast as I can. So. Um, in order to find the tempo, you can just hit play on here, go up to project, insert tempo change, and click on this tap tempo. All right. So it seems like it's around like 102. Yeah. It looks like, yep. 102. Yeah. Pretty much lined up right there. All right, so you know that the tempo, or at least around the range of the tempo, is like 100 to 102, somewhere around here. And that's good. So now we have the tempo set. Now we need to actually set up our um, our mics. So 
Uh, in order to do that, you want to actually hit the either the plus sign to add a track, or you can right click in this area and hit insert audio track, or you can hit control plus T in order to add an audio track. But I'm just going to hit on here, add the audio track, and um, let's name it really quickly. I'm just going to name it lead for now. All right, and I'm just going to pull this little area down here so I can kind of see what's going on. And then make sure you have it on all so you'll see all the parameters of this actual thing. Usually it'll be set on custom and you won't be able to, I mean, you can still do what you need to do, but I like to see all so I can adjust different things if I need to adjust the volume or the gain or anything like that. All right, so right now it's going to the master as the output. Um, you, you know, you have your regular stuff, your mute, solo, record, and you have your echo input. So we need to find out what side of the uh, recorder is it actually coming in on. I'm using the FL Studio ASIO driver and um, the lowest it actually goes is like 250. So the latency will be pretty high on this one. So let me turn on my mic and get stuff set up. All right, so now I have the mic set up. And if I hit on this echo, you should be able to hear it. All right, now you see it's only coming out one side and it's coming with that delay of the echo. Um, if my uh, latency was better, you wouldn't actually hear that uh, echo, but seeing that I'm using the FL Studio Drive, it's, it's gonna be that way, all right? So I can actually hit on record so I can see it coming in. I don't have to hear it, but I can see it. And I, what I wanna do is go down here to this input stereo, right? So if I click this little drop down. We're going to go to the uh, right FL Studio ASO1, and now I have a stereo input or a mono input, basically. So now the mono input, you don't want it to ever go over 12 dBs. Um, that's, well, at least my rule of thumb, because I don't like um, distorted audio. So if you, go, if you go further than that, then you start getting into the yellow, and then you have your red where it's actually clipping and you don't want clipping on your audio. So I like to keep it at least under 12 dBs just so I can have that headroom to actually change anything. If I need to, if I need to add a whole bunch of compression or anything, I can actually do that with that uh, dB. All right. So with that being said, let's uh, make sure our recording settings are set up correctly. So I'm gonna hit this right click on this uh, recording and it brings you to your preferences for recording. So right now I have it set on sound on sound because I'm usually just doing beats and I kind of just want the sound to be playing. So right now I'm gonna put it on comping because I'm recording. Um, overwrite will actually overwrite anything you actually put on there. So if you have uh, you know, an artist that's doing a lot of takes and they, they're not actually keeping any of the comping, just overwrite. Um, sound on sound, like I said, will kind of just layer it on top of each other. Um, I usually just use it, like I said, for um, when I'm making beats. All right, so you can actually have an option to create a new lane and you have an option to um, reuse existing lanes. So if you had a lane there that didn't have anything on it, you can kind of still just overwrite it. Um, and the new takes will go on top, that's fine. Hit apply, hit uh, close on here. And um, you wanna make sure that this metronome is not on for your recording because uh, basically they'll hear the, the click of the metronome if they're recording with this on. So make sure you turn this off. And then you wanna definitely go into your settings for your metronome. Um, I know I usually have mine's count in for one. So I'm gonna do a zero and I'm gonna hit apply. And I'm gonna hit close. All right. So uh, what I'll do is actually do, um, I'm gonna duplicate these tracks. So I'll have a couple of them. So I'm gonna hit the, uh, Duplicate track here. All right, so I'm not going to do too much, anything too fancy here. So I'm just going to just have like these two. Let's rename them. Hook one. And let's do hook two. All right, something simple, real easy to set up. Uh, real easy to go and actually do. All right, so let's actually start with the hook. So I'm gonna hit on this one. And the hook starts somewhere around here, these around the eight bars. So let's set our user somewhere around here. So I'll just click 
Um, I have my smart tool selected, so I just kind of use the little eye icon and is clicked. And I have my bars set to snap at one half a note. All right, so now um, the next only thing you have to do now is just record. So let's get that going. So I'm gonna hit um, R on my keyboard here to start recording. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? You can see that I'm gone. Now I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. You can see that I'm gone. And I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. All right. So that's one take. So let's say um, artists like, all right, let me do it again. But you kind of liked what they did. So this is where vocal comping comes in handy. So I can just record again. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? 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 Can you see my footsteps? You can see that I'm gone. And I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. All right. So now I have two of them. I, I did two takes. So if you wanted to actually see what you did, you can un hit out, stop the recording. And this right here, this little button here, it says track lanes off. If you click on it, it'll show you the takes that you actually did. So this is the, uh, the second take, and this is the first take. So if, if you hit this, when you see this little icon here with the little hamburger at the bottom, that will select which track will go up to the top, right? So now this track is actually the one at the top here. So if I go back to play it. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? You can see this. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? You can see that I'm gone. I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. So as you hear, these are the two different takes. And um, let's say you just wanted pieces of it. So if you know, like, let's say this piece here, right? I wanted to um, have this piece go for sure, right? So I can click it like that, and boom, it'll make this piece go up here. Um, and the same can be done. But well, you have to make sure you're on this little line with the hamburger in order to actually kind of just cut it and bring it up like that. I mean, that's the easiest way to do it. I mean, there's other ways to do it. You can just cut them all up if you wanted to and then choose which one you want to do after that. Um, and I believe there's a way to actually um, select them and then kind of go up and down. I don't believe, I don't remember if it's shift. I think it's shift. All right. So yeah, so basically this will give you a real quick option to kind of do comping if you do need to do it. I'm just gonna kind of control Z it out of here. And I'll probably keep this uh, this take here, but the take lanes are there. And Ableton Live 11 just got this feature, and Kate Cox had this feature for like seven years now. So this is a free DAW that can actually do the same thing that these high price DAWs are actually doing before they even thought about doing it. So there's there's that. All right, so let's see if we can double this hook. I probably cannot, but let's try. So I just hit on the record here, and I'm gonna hit the R on my keyboard to start recording. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? 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 Can you see my footsteps? You can see that I'm gone, and I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. All right, I think that was, that was actually pretty good. All right, so let's see if we can knock out this verse. All right, so the life of an artist. So I'm gonna try to do this this, this take. Sometimes you need to give the artist some space to actually come in. So um, you can do it like halfway there and then actually start recording and that way they can actually catch on to the beat and to the rhyme and to what they need to do. 
So I'm just gonna start it from here. I'm gonna hit the R on my keyboard to start recording. Can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? Can you see my footsteps? You can see that I'm gone and I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. Yo, we bang, bang, boogie. That's what you heard. I've been patiently waiting like it's my turn. I got cats cutting the line and it's embarrassing. And I'm not having it so they you're about to let a savage in. So to let you know it's not gonna be the same. I don't care what you mean or what you claim. No doubt it's sexy. Yo, yeah, yeah, I'm taking over. My song's there for the week is militant like a soldier. So stand in line. Salute the rap general. Yeah, you can hate, but you stay off my genitals. Sign up for the game and nah, I don't stop. And I wonder what happens. I make it to the top. Well, I see these haters standing and applaud because I know they'll pray for my downfall and I got lyrics on deck always ready to bust and I left my competition yeah they way in the dust wow <laughs> all right I didn't think I could do it but I did it and it actually came out probably okay all right so now what I can do with this is um the good thing about actually having the tempo locked on here like it is, I can kind of just copy these and pull them over to uh, this side and actually have them start to hook again. So let's see if we can get that set up. So I'm going to hold this. I'm going to um, hold control. Now that I have my little, this arrow or the, the movement sign, I can hold down control and grab this and drag it across. And uh, it's probably going to start there I'm thinking it's gonna start there let's see I got lyrics on deck always ready to bust and I left my competition yeah, they you see my footsteps. See my all right so it's a little off so let's do here let's grab it and drag it over one I got lyrics on deck always ready to bust and I left my competition yeah, they way in the dust can you see my footsteps? See my footsteps? 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 Can you see my footsteps? You can see that I'm gone, and I ain't turning back. Now I can't go back. All right, so we have just made a little song up in here. If you actually want to um, hear the rest of this song or see me do the rest of this song definitely leave the comments below and i'll see if i can actually finish the song off and actually make this into like a real record but basically this is just showing you guys how to actually use or how to record inside a cakewalk by band lab and we definitely want you guys to actually uh stay tuned to the channel uh, make sure you like and subscribe if you actually watched it all the way to here and definitely comment below um, like I said, if you guys want me to actually continue this song and actually make it onto like a you know SoundCloud or even um, put it up on my distro kit. So if, I do have a link below for my distro kit if you actually are an artist. Um, I have a 7% discount on there so you guys can get that set up as well for your distro kits to get on your Spotify's and all these other uh, platforms. All right, but I believe that's the end of this video. I don't think I have anything else to show you. And with that being said, Whoa, once again, it's your boy X.E.L. O. Till the next time, people. Peace. Yo, we bang, bang, boogie. That's what you heard. I've been patiently waiting like it's my turn. I got cats cutting the line and it's embarrassing. And I'm not having it, so they about to let a savage in. So to let you know it's not going to be the same. I don't care what you mean or what you claim. No doubt it's sexy. Yeah, yeah, I'm taking over. My song's there for the week is militant like a soldier. So stand in line. Salute the rap general. Yeah, you can hate, but you stay off my genitals. Sign up for the game. And nah, I don't stop. And I wonder what happens. I make it to the top. Well, I see these haters standing and applaud because I know they'll pray for my downfall and I got lyrics on deck always ready to bust and I left my competition yeah they way in the dust can you see my footsteps see my footsteps 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 can you see my footsteps you can see that I'm gone and I ain't turning back now I can't go back <laughs>